Hey guys, this is Dal Phoenix, and I wanted to go ahead and play some Animal Crossing New Horizons, which just came out on the Switch. It's been a good time so far. Very relaxing, very charming, just like all the other Animal Crossing games. But while we play this game for a little bit, I wanted to talk about something that I found quite ridiculous on Twitter today. So, as you guys may be aware, there is an animal rights organization called PETA, or People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. And they have a mission to try to basically end animal slavery, as they might call it, um, make it to where humans don't hoard ownership over animals, don't abuse them, don't eat them, and so on. Basically treat animals like they treat their fellow man. Um, that's kind of their goal, obviously, and they've been quite a controversial organization, to say the least. Um, you know, I don't want to go into it too much. There's times I don't agree with their tactics and what they say, and there's times that I do agree. You know, they're not the worst organization in the world, and sometimes they have a good point. Like, for example, with the whole al alinity that Twitch thought that likes to abuse her cats live on stream and Twitch does nothing about it. Which is one of the reasons why I actually boycott Twitch. I refuse to go to that site. I don't even watch my own friends stream on there because of their utter disregard for animals' safety and well-being. And when it comes to stuff like that, I really do side with PETA. But on other times, PETA does some really dumb shit, uh, which is what we're going to be talking about today. So. They had posted a blog post on their website talking about vegan-friendly ways to play Animal Crossing. Which, you know, vegan of course means you don't eat meat, you don't eat any products of animals, or and so on. You know, you get complete sustenance from other stuff. There's like a ghost or something, you guys will check it out. Oh, <laughs> yeah, found a wisp I guess it is. So anyways, let's get into the topic. So they offer these vegan-friendly ways to play Animal Crossing. Now, you can't actually harm animals in this game. You can't eat them. You can't exploit them, um, at least in a way that we would consider exploitation. But PETA disagrees with that entirely. Um, so one of the vegan friendly ways to talk about, um, you know, playing Animal Crossing is to not fish and to not catch bugs which is really interesting because if you don't fish and you don't catch bugs in Animal Crossing you're gonna have basically no progress at all because in order to get like the pogo stick for example that I have right here you have to collect five animals and not animals but insects and or fish from using the fly trap or using the fishing pole and the thing is you can't really progress through there. Like you saw I have the pogo stick, for example. In order to get that pogo stick, you have to get Blathers, who is the owl that has a museum that kind of curates and shows off all these insects and fish that you catch. Um, also fossils as well. Now, unless there's a way to get the pole that doesn't require collecting insects and fish, you literally cannot progress in the game because as you see here I can pole vault this is the island part that I started on if I want to get over I need the pole vault if I want the pole vault I have to get the recipe to make the pole vault you get that recipe by getting blathers in order to get blathers you have to collect five fish and or insects now you might see where the problem lies with that right if you can't fish and you can't catch insects, then how do you make that progress exactly? Which is a very good question. It's a very good question indeed. Now I'm sure there may be alternative ways possibly to do this. Um, I'm not sure exactly what those alternative ways would be. Maybe you can buy them at the shop for example. But um, otherwise you're kind of SOL on that and without Prog progression in this game you really are going to have a very boring time because Animal Crossing it is a very relaxing game it's a very chill game you just kind of do what you want but part of the charm of it 
part of what's really nice about it is there's always a goal to work towards. There's always a way to progress and get better in the game. Um, you know, to basically improve your village and all that good stuff, right? So you have to keep that in mind. Uh, without the shovel, you can't do all kinds of things. You can't plant money trees. You can't plant fruit trees. You can't do any kind of digging at all. And you need the shovel to be able to do these things. You can't use it to break rocks, which gives you different materials, like iron nuggets, for example. And it really hinders your progress in the game. So that's something you have to really keep in mind. That's actually a bug right there. Let's go ahead and catch that bug, much to the behest of PETA, right? Uh, I guess I missed it. <laughs> Trying to catch it, but it's like so small on the screen. There we go. We caught it. All right. I caught a pill bug. Fantastic. But I can't carry anything else. I need to get rid of something, I suppose. So what can we get rid of? Um, I guess I'll just drop this shell, whatever. Yeah, I could always pick it back up later anyway. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and sell some stuff, which is another way you can exploit animals and insects and fish in this game. So you can literally sell them to the shopkeeper to get bells, and I'm sure that really aggravates PETA. So, I put a link up the article in the description if you want to kind of see what I'm talking about with this here. It's just utter ridiculousness. It really is, you know. Animal Crossing has an objective, ultimately, to just enjoy yourself. And I guess you could technically do that by following their guidelines, but I imagine that enjoyment for a lot of people would be pretty short-lived if you're not able to make actual progress in the game. Now, I guess one other alternative is they can visit other people's places to get these things, like these recipes to kind of do what they need to do. But the problem with that is that they do it that way, then they are technically indirectly supporting these things that they have complained about, that they have problems with. So it's kind of hypocritical in a way. Of course, I cannot visit Blathers. Maybe I can give those things to Tom Nook since uh, they're revamping the museum right now. They're building my house too. Um, probably the next day or so, I'm gonna have a house on the map, which will be really nice. And I'm just kind of enjoying Animal Crossing for what it is. It's a game you just kind of chill, relax, do some stuff, get some progress, and then move on with your day. Come back to it on their day, visit your uh, villagers. You know, obviously you can play online with your friends and all kinds of cool stuff. It's definitely got a lot of good hooks to it, but not if you play it the PETA way. <laughs> Talk about a really boring way to play Animal Crossing, right? So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, but till then, Down Phoenix out.